Hello and welcome to Money Control. My name is Shraddha Sharma and this is Reporter's Take. Amid the US-Iran tensions, Indian insurers might be facing the heat. Let's get more details on that with Money Control Saraswati. Hi Saraswati. So is it true that uh, the uh, Indian insurers are facing the heat? Yes, as far as uh, the US-Iran tensions are concerned, there has been an increase in standoff, especially after uh, U Iran's general Qasem Soleimani was shot down by a US airstrike. This was followed by a few attacks by Iran, wherein uh, you know recently Ukrainian aircraft was also accidentally shot down, killing all 176 people on board. Ever since then, there has been a rise in risks, for especially for the oil uh, or the crude oil that is imported by the refineries in India. Now, what has happened is uh, the Indian insurers have seen an increase in the overall cost because of the rising tensions. And on the other hand, the reinsurance companies have refused to give up complete pull uh, coverage for the risks. Now, this has made uh, insurance very expensive. On the other hand, the oil refineries don't want to pay the additional costs. All right. So, what is the reason for the increase of, of this price? So, as far as uh, you know, insurance is concerned, primarily the oil refineries take this insurance for any crude oil that is imported into India. This is uh, for any possible attack. So, if there's uh, oil that is being imported gets attacked by uh, any political risk, the damage or the, the quantity of the oil that is destroyed is paid by the insurance company. Now that uh, the US military has also warned that uh, the commercial vehicles passing through Iran and other areas are facing risks, there is a possibility that there could be st airstrikes further, which could damage some of the crude oil that is coming in, which is uh, one of the major reasons why the reinsurance companies don't want to give complete coverage to this. And on the other hand, uh, there has been a general cost increase because of the crude oil price hike. So the, the quantity of oil that is coming in, the overall price of that also increases. All right. Do you, how long do you expect this to continue? So as far as uh, the standoff is concerned, there is no immediate solution in sight because uh, the US and Iran are still engaged in discussions and strikes by both sides are still on. On the other hand, earlier, uh, you know, this problem was never there because India and Iran had an agreement wherein Iran used to provide some coverage for uh, the shipping or the products coming into India. This is no longer the case, which is why this uh, issue has worsened. Now, what Indian insurers are saying that especially for the oil refineries in India importing crude oil, there should be something called an Indian energy pool wherein the government uh, the, and the Ministry of Petroleum get in, say, five, 6,000 crore into the pool so that if there is any possible damage, that can be paid for. All right, Saraswati, thank you for joining us with those insights. Thank you. With that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Reporters Take. For more news, views and updates, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com. Thanks for watching.